Hi guys, today I wanted to show you a very good solution, alternate solution for the volume change with the mouse on Windows. I've been using this software for years and I didn't have any problems. That's the volume mouse from Nearsoft. But when you currently download it, it shows some dangerous behavior. Can't remember exactly what it's showing, but it's definitely not showing very safe and we do not have access to the source code. So after migrating to a new Windows computer, I stopped using it and didn't install this anymore. But now I have found a good solution. By the way, I'm not going to post any links to such websites anymore. It has become too dangerous. It would put my channel at a very high risk to get either warnings or even strikes, getting the channel deleted, something like that. So unfortunately, you have to write this down or Google for that if you are interested. So again, I have found an alternate solution for that. I mean, of course, you can always go down, change the volume here. Maybe you have even a hardware wheel on your keyboard or you can buy dedicated USB volume control knobs, something like that. I've even reviewed that. I don't know why it's not available anymore. It's actually a good thing. But if you don't want to buy new hardware and want to have a very fast and comfortable solution, easier than this thing here and have even a little bit more functionality, then I think this could be an awesome solution. The TB wall scroll that's on GitHub and it's open source and free and the basic functions we can find here. So it's a scroll up down to adjust the system volume and it has even some additional functions with control to mute and unmute and hold alt to activate precise volume scroll mode. And the most interesting thing, except from changing the volume, is this one here with holding shift to switch between the available audio playback services. This is what you usually just have here, right clicking, then go to sound setting and then you can change the output. So here we have the source code. If you want to download the installer, you can click on releases here. So you can see we have the latest version here with the Windows installer with the source code as zip or another version of the source code. I have checked the installer exe and unfortunately it gives also some false alerts on virustotal.com because of course they have to read the keyboard input. All the mainstream virus scanners, they do not show anything they all say it's safe. So of course, instead of using the exe, you can use the source code download, check everything and then compile it and use this one here. But for the moment, I'm going with this one here. And again, this false alerts here, unfortunately, which makes it look unsafe. But you can see everything down here is green. I've even been talking to the project owner and everything looks really legit for me. So I'm definitely not worried. So of course to install, we click on the exe. And then of course, Windows gives some warning. If you want to install, you have to click on more info, run anyway. And now it's already done. You don't see an icon here. At least I haven't found one, but we can find the software running here down in the sys tray. We click here and then we have it here. You can right click, then you have some options, you can do some configuration, get some information about it. So you have the three functions here, but you can use them like that. So what you have to do to change the volume, you just have to go down here into the taskbar. Here on top, it's not working. When you use the scroll wheel up here, it's not doing anything. But as soon as you have the mouse down here and you're using the mouse scroll wheel up and down you can see you can change the volume now unfortunately i'm on a device where i can't change the volume unfortunately it looks like for me the shift and control and alt are not working i have to find out why so i change the system sound now to my headphones and so I go down and now you can see how I can easily change the volume from very low where it's even showing red and then going up to yellow and green. So let's now try with the shift. Let's see. Yeah, still nothing. 
and with the control also nothing and with the alt so i have to really look more into that but it works definitely to change the volume if you don't like it you can always uninstall or you can right click and exit maybe let's check out how this would work you can see can easily switch between these different output options but unfortunately i can't see how this would work maybe it's in the options okay here in the options we can see the hotkeys have to be activated so let's click on apply now I'm going down here holding the shift key and you can see I can switch between the different output devices but it's not a large menu it's just switching from one device to each other so it's a little bit difficult if you have a lot if you have just two or three different devices then it's very easy let's also try with the control you can see with the control you can mute unmute we also have a menu here when we click on it but it's just the normal volume nothing special same thing as you have here already but the volume changes the mouse down here i think it's a really nice option and it's definitely the more safe option compared to the volume mouse from nearsoft because it's open source but i'm not saying that it's 100 safe again i'm not posting any links you really have to decide on your own if you think it's safe enough for you to install but i keep it installed here and test it for a while so maybe i make even a second video after a while how it turned out so what i have done a little bit later is to create a shortcut because i wanted to have the option to start it manually if i exit from this program or if it doesn't start automatically after booting up so what you can do is to hit the windows key and then type tb and then it should find it in the best match you right click on it open file location then i have it here in the start menu and so you can right click here and if you haven't done already you can click pin to taskbar but because i have it already in taskbar here is just the unpin from taskbar but you should have the function here to pin it to the taskbar and so you can see i have it here now so if it's not running i can click on it and start it for me it looks like the best option if you have a better option then just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time